It's a dark night to an old soul. You, you, you see the beacon of light through that black hole. Greetings, suns and moons, and of course I have to welcome back all my stars. Any and all information that you need about me or regarding this reading shall be in the description box below. Let go. So being optimistic is what I'm picking up intuitively. This has a lot to do with something that you heard, possibly even seen. You may not realize that the things you do in secret are heard and seen in the ethereal plane. You may be questioning who heard you. If this is not the case for you, this is surrounding a third party and possibly an incident that you may have bore witness to as well as participated in. Piscean energy, being caught off guard is also what I'm getting. In regards to a light bearer, may or may not be you. I'm also getting drawn. If this is not the case for you, this has something to do with the incident that you may have witnessed during the night. So sleeping uncomfortably is also what I'm picking up. You may have released a chosen one, male or female, and or someone's thinking about releasing you. If you're not dealing with a Sagittarius or you're not one, sun, moon, rising, aka ascended, possibly even your north node, this is a faded situation surrounding accountability and responsibility. Most definitely, this has a lot to do with an unequal partnership. Feeling out of sorts with yourself and your environment is what I'm picking up. Now, of course, if you are a divine feminine, divine masculine, empress, emperor, elect one, you may be aware of someone's position or purpose in your life. Something not being easily obtainable is also what I'm picking up. You may have been delayed in regards to a partnership or someone may not realize that they are operating in their ascendant sign, also known as rising. For one person in particular, you may have had some sort of promotion. If this is not you, this is in regards to a third party. May or may not be a Leo sun sign. This could double as a release of toxic energy surrounding your solar plexus and possibly even you or a third party having a Leo ascendant. So something being showcased is also what I'm picking up. May or may not have something to do with a release date as well as an event. Either show me what it is I need to see. So in regards to a Leo female, you can be this person that bore witness to an event in the past, or this is surrounding your confidence. If you are a masculine male, this has a lot to do with your creativity. You may not be aware that the oversoul is someone that you are currently working with, or if you are the oversoul, this could be someone that you released in the past. They may have some dealings with the Pisces female. This could also have something to do with divination. I feel strongly that these individuals are not aware that you ascend it. If you are subscribed to tier three, this reading is most definitely going to resonate with you. It has a lot to do with the wee hours of the morning. You may not be aware, or possibly a third party isn't, that they or you went through some form of ascension, may or may not be a parasitic release. Somebody could be in deep contemplation as well as a deep sleep. Now this could be a competitor. A lot of feminine energy and what I mean by feminine energy, females. Now, these could be people that you have soul contracts with, soul ties, as well as 
past life karmic debt. Somebody wants to eat from your plate. You may feel this individual is greedy. Or they feel that way about you. You may be aware that someone wants your position and or they want to capitalize off your fame. This most definitely has a lot to do with the female counterpart that you may have been in a soul tie with. Invasion of your privacy may be something that you know this person is currently doing. May or may not be a Virgo, sun, moon, or rising. You may know that this individual is complacent. And what I mean by that is they are comfortable or operating in shadow energy, or this is you. So feeling out of sorts when it comes down to do with a partnership is also what I'm picking up. Now, if you recently separated from this individual, they may have resulted to some pettiness as well as strife in regards to your spiritual spouse as well as your career. Now, this trickster energy is giving me the vibes of Papa Legba, but it doesn't necessarily have to be. This could be the way someone thinks as well as interprets what they see. They may feel that they have to compete for a position as well as your time, your energy, your assets, especially if this has something to do with a contractual agreement, such as marriage. Now, you may know that this individual attempted to catfish you in the past, especially if you are a divine masculine emperor elect one. You may also know that this individual was born in the years of the cat. So Chinese astrology may resonate with you at this time. Or a third party. So being hustled is what I'm picking up. You may know that someone from your past attempted to channel your energy via pendulum. You may have divulged some information that was private in nature. You may feel that this person is emotionally manipulative or they feel that way about you. You can show me what it is I need to see. So the years of the 80s are significant. This could be someone that you released and or someone's birth year. I also feel someone is attempting to ask personal questions in regards to your birth chart, your birth time, your birth date. You may not be aware that this individual is attempting to do that or they are not aware in regards to you. Now, for one specific person, you may have opted out of ascending. So you could be the individual that is complacent at this time. Things may appear to be going well. However, I feel that is an optical illusion. If you are a divine masculine emperor elect one, as well as a divine feminine empress elect one, you may know that this person is attempting to compete with you. So the goddess realm is significant. Going forward, someone may attempt to say that they are a goddess, especially if they pick up on my energy in the spirit realm. You may know that this person was present when you encountered me in the past, or they know this about you. So powering through a difficult situation may be something that you had to do in the past, especially if you had to go back and redo things. You may not have been aware that you were shifting in dimensions. Some people may call it astral travel, but indeed, these are two different things. Someone may have attempted to astral project into your, as well as your divine counterpart's space. They may call it lucid dreaming. However, lucid dreaming is something else. Most definitely, I'm getting the energy of someone that is stuck in an outdated belief system. This has a lot to do with the goddess realm. Show me. 
So gaining clarity in regards to omniism. Someone may not be aware that I am an omnius. Either you or a third party may be attempting to research this information. However, the definition may not be clear, especially if you didn't ascend. And most definitely, someone involved in this fiasco did not ascend. So we've been getting this invasion of privacy via divination for a very long time on this channel. People may not be aware that it's karmic debt attached to that. I also feel they don't care. We know that other individuals are not aware that they are doing this, especially if this is a chosen one. Now with this divine counsel being here, somebody is most definitely facing judgment in regards to a spiritual gate being open via pendulum and immediately being shut by a spiritual gatekeeper. You may not be aware that a cancer female is present in the goddess realm, especially if this person is multidimensional. This person may feel like if you are not in that dimension or they aren't, that they could do this invasion of privacy and not be caught. You may have recently released a cancer male for someone this energy is going to play out in the future. This could also double as a release of a child's mother. May or may not be you. I'm being guided to end it there. Deuces.